It is easy to copy and move text or objects in your Word document by using the cut, copy, and paste commands, but recent versions of Word offer a more intuitive and faster way of moving and copying text and objects by using the mouse. To move text or cut text using the mouse, all you have to do is highlight the text first. So I'm going to highlight apples and I'm going to put this list in alphabetical order using the drag and drop method. Once I've selected the text, I want to click on the highlighted text and then I'm going to move the text wherever I want it in my document. So I'm going to move it to the top and then when I release my mouse button, it's going to move that text. Now moving with the drag and, drag and drop method is the same thing as cutting because you see it took away the original text and moved it to the new location. So instead of having to go through extra steps to using the cut and paste method, I just d did a couple of steps and it allowed me to move the text. All right. If I put this list in alphabetical order, bananas would go next. So again, I'm going to select all my text. Notice I have selected that space after it. That's important. Now I'm going to click and hold my mouse button. Notice that there's now a dotted box below my mouse. I'm going to drag that insertion point up to the place where I want the text to go. And then when I release my mouse button, it moves the text. Cherries comes next, so that's that doesn't need to be moved. Dates should be between cherries and eggs. Now I want to show you what happens if I select the word dates without selecting the um, space after it. All right, now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to move dates because I want it to be in the eggs position. And now, whenever I release the mouse button, because I didn't select that extra space after it, it's going to put it on the same line with eggs. And that's okay because as long as you go back and you fix your spacing. So now I can hit enter in front of the word eggs, but I do have to go back down and get rid of that extra space between eggs and figs. So even if you forget to select that extra space after it, it's okay because you can go back and just fix your spacing as long as you make sure that you do that. If you know that you won't, you need to make sure that you select that ac extra space. All right, so that's drag and drop to move text. Now I want to show you how you can copy text using the drag and drop method. To copy text, you basically do the same thing with one added step. Let's go down and look at partial article about the Colquitt County Packers win against Coffee County. This is taken from the Moultrie Observer. All right, up here we just moved around a few words, but here we're going to move around whole paragraphs. Let's say that you type your paper, or in this case it's an article in the Moultrie Observer, and you decide one paragraph should actually go before the other paragraph. Well, we can use drag and drop to cut the text or to move the text. So I'm going to select this last paragraph, and I did select the space after it, um, but we still may need to go fix the spacing in between the paragraphs since there is a blank line between each one. Now I'm just going to click anywhere in the selected text, click and hold my mouse until I see that dotted box underneath the mouse and that dotted insertion point and I'm just going to drag it up to where I want the text to go and when I release my mouse button you see that even though I did select that space after it it still for some reason didn't fix my spacing so I do need to go in and fix my spacing by hitting enter all right now let's say that as I mentioned previously we want to use drag and drop to copy text. To do this, I'm going to move this sentence back up, or this paragraph back up to, uh, to be the second one. I'm going to select the text, 
hold down the control key on the keyboard, click and hold my mouse until I see that dotted insertion point, and notice that now I have a plus sign inside of a white square. I'm going to move my text or my paragraph where I want it, and I'm going to first release my mouse button, then I'm going to release my control key. It, that step is very important when you want to use drag and drop to copy text. Because if you do not release your control button after you release the mouse button, what's going to happen is it's going to move the text instead of actually copying it. Because here you can see that I actually have this paragraph here and I have this paragraph here so I have two copies of it and I just need to press enter to fix my spacing and for some reason it's not there we go alright so let me show you what actually happens if I release my control button first I'm gonna hold down control click in the paragraph I'm going to move it up here. Now I'm going to release my control key. Notice the plus sign in the white square went away. Now I'm going to release my mouse button. All right, and notice that now I have this paragraph, but I no longer have the original. Okay? And remember again, you're going to have to fix your spacing sometimes, so always make sure that you go back and check that. Print preview it, proofread it. Always make sure to check um, your whole document to make sure that that spacing is correct. Okay? So I'm going to show you one more time to drag and drop text to to move text using the drag and drop method you select the text click it wait for that dotted insertion point and then move it wherever you want it to go okay all right to use drag and drop to copy text you select the text hold down the control key click on the selected text and hold it down till you get that insertion that dotted insertion point and then click or then drag it wherever you want it in the document release the mouse button first then release your control key and that will copy the text